So we're going to get right into questions. Look like Renee Ragnar posted this question twice, and it looks like she posted it last week, at probably after the webinar. So I'm going to start with her. She says, does ranking videos for local businesses in Google using YouTube and selling the leads to local businesses still work well in 2019? Yeah, it can. The, the thing about ranking local videos for leads is they don't convert typically as well as like having a maps listing would. Uh, they can, don't get me wrong, depending on the, the message and if it's a compelling uh, video and that kind of stuff. Also, ranking videos, you can still do it, um, you know, but I, I also recommend that you learn how to use YouTube ads because YouTube ads, you can get significant, like really targeted traffic from the very specific areas, like set, you can set your geographic targeting and, and a lot, there's so many targeting options as far as audience targeting inside YouTube now or Google, the Google ads platform for video um, that you can get really good results without and, and and as a byproduct of having a video that is targeted and getting targeted views from people that are within a specific geographic area that are known to Google to be in the market or interested in that particular product or service those are heavily weighted views and as a byproduct of that the video will often rank so you again this has been a, a trick up my sleeve for years now um, but it's gotten better and better recently and that's using YouTube ads to actually rank the video. And so if you know video SEO, you still apply all of the SEO methods to the video as well as the channel. You can still do off-page SEO stuff, but the, the, the magic, the, the real magic is using YouTube ads to run locally rele local relevant traffic to it because it's not just about the traffic either. You'll actually get engagement and clicks back, you know, clicks to your offer or clicks to the landing page or leads for local businesses, you'll actually get real traffic and real leads from a properly set up YouTube ads campaign. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, Adam, but isn't that training available as an order bump for the battle plan? Not going to lie. I was looking at a, a spreadsheet and I missed the first part of that. The uh, YouTube ads training I did for local videos. Yep. Yeah. You can get that if you buy the battle plan on checkout. Uh, it's the killer ads uh, for local uh, uh, order bump. Yeah. So I would recommend you look into that. It is still a strategy that works. Um, for the longest time, I've for years now, guys, like five five years now, I've been ranking videos or doing video SEO, selling a video uh, wholesale video SEO services to a local video production company that creates videos for local businesses, and they would always just create the videos and then you know sell them. Uh, the, the, the client, their customers, they would sell them the video and the, the customers would put them on their website, maybe post them to Facebook, put them on their YouTube channel, but they never were getting leads from them or ranking them in Google. Well, for about five years now, I've provided wholesale SEO services to that company. So the company handles the sales, then they upsell my service to the client or the customer. And so they actually, they make, uh, they make a, you know, money off of my SEO service every month. And that way I don't have to deal with the customers and all that kind of stuff. All I do is provide reporting. However, with just in the last six months or so, I've actually went back to them, you know, after four and a half years or so of just providing wholesale SEO services. And I said, look, I'm not going to provide the SEO service anymore. I'm going to provide local ads. Like I'm going to set up ad campaigns for the ad, for the videos because I can guarantee traffic that way. I, I can't guarantee traffic or leads or clicks or anything from ranking in Google. And I can't guarantee rankings either. I've, I mean, I've always done that. I've always said, look, if it doesn't rank, then, you know, uh, I don't refund the money, but I won't, you know, we can cancel service. There's always been canceled anytime. I don't ever put them on contract. And I've always been successful at ranking them anyways. But I, I can guarantee traffic and, and uh, you know, clicks through to the through the um, to the website or the, the landing page, whatever the destination or target URL is within the call to action of the video, I can guarantee that with ads. And so, and then I tell them, look, you can still tell them uh, your your customers as a byproduct of a well optimized video and a well optimized ads campaign, it's likely going to rank anyways. And so, we'll, I still apply the SEO techniques to the videos, but I set up the ads campaign now. And I said, what's also cool about that is the reporting is so much better. So I can provide the, the I provide the, the video production company with the reports that then they send off to their their customers or their clients. But the reporting is so much more uh, detailed. It's so much more accurate because I can show where exactly the clicks are coming from. If you go into ads and you look and you go into um, the ad group and then you go into locations, 
You can pull locations reports and you can do it by zip code or by city or by county and things like that. So I can literally show where the views are coming from specifically. So my targeting can be extremely tight and I can show that, hey, this is only local people looking at the video. I can also show the audience targeting options. I can show the demographics. I can show incredible amount of detail as to where the traffic and clicks are coming from, from the ad campaign, which you couldn't do with regular YouTube analytics or with just a rank report, if that makes sense. So, and again, you know, 95% of the time, the video is gonna rank because of a proper uh, YouTube targeting campaign because of the traffic and the engagement is both geographically and topically. So it's a super, super powerful strategy, guys, and I covered it in a webinar that's available, like I said, as part of the um, order bump for the battle plan. All right, that's a great question though. Alex right, is up. So oh, go, if, go ahead. If I may, ran a test just to see, because this is interesting. We we ran a test over a two or three week period, and we ran em embeds and and link building test to see what kind of action that would do. And interestingly enough, that still it not only moves the needle, it has a great effect on videos. And it ha and and once they start hitting the first page. And they move towards the top. You can start seeing the people start coming through to the channel and subscribing and liking and sharing and doing all of the things that a video needs in order for YouTube and Google to keep giving it love. So there's two things at play here, right? If you hit the top spot, you're going to get traffic if, and now here's a caveat, the, the video has to be engaging enough for, for people, for real people to take action, uh, to like it, to share it, or, or to, 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 you know, to give you that, that, that thumbs down in YouTube and, and comments and, and everything else. So there's, there's two ways to, to do this. Both ways are still viable. It, Bradley's method, the, 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 the ads training, I mean, that's hyper targeted people that are likely to convert into leads. Now, on uh, the other method, when you're doing the, the embeds and, and the link building, what you're going to get is you're going to get a, a more general viewership. And, and so uh, you're going to need more in order to get the, the, the leads that you could generate through uh, the video ads course. But both methods are still alive and well in 2019. Yeah, and, and, and to be clear, guys, that's why I mentioned I still apply all the SEO methods whenever I – like so, so, for example, I always live stream a video to a channel that's connected to a bunch of syndication networks. So that's the first step. It, so it, you know, once the, the, the live stream is over, it literally cascades through all of the syndication networks that are attached to that channel. So it, it's automatically getting embeds, and my, my syndication networks are well-themed and aged right because i've had i've been doing this for so long so it gets a lot of super good seo you know traditional seo power or juice or whatever you want to call it from from that right which are traditional signals that marco's talking about like embeds and then if you want to if you even if you don't have like well-aged syndication networks or whatever you can just use an embed service right and embed it and and so all of those are traditional seo signals and they still work there's no doubt about that but what i'm saying is combining those two methods guys that's where the magic happens so still do all the seo stuff optimize on page which means optimize the video optimize your channel use playlists guys playlist youtube silo academy is the is how you saw guys even if you only have one video on a playlist create a playlist and put the video in it because a playlist is also part of video SEO, right? So again, on page stuff for the video, on page stuff for your channel, use playlists, uh, use embeds, use some backlinks. But if you want, if you're not getting the traction that you want, and like I said, for me, it's just standard operating procedure. I do all that first and then I immediately go set up the YouTube ad for it and start driving real engagement, real traffic from Google to the video and Google knows who that traffic is, and what they're interested in, where they came from and where they're located. And so it's super engaged or uh, super targeted traffic, which is highly weighted traffic by Google. And that's the magic that really kind of helps all that SEO work. Just, it just flourishes, right? It just works. Everything comes surfacing and it's just, it's, it's like almost, um, it's almost guaranteed. Again, I don't guarantee rankings now. Uh, for uh, you know, I tell them if they, if it doesn't rank, they don't have to pay me, and you know we, we'll cancel it. 
but I do guarantee uh, views and clicks because I, I can't guarantee a certain number of clicks, but I can guarantee targeted views because I can buy those views directly from Google. You know what I mean? So again, use both methods, guys. I'm not saying do one or the other. Use both. All right. Alex is up. He says, hey, guys, I am rank uh, Yeah, I'm ranking in the three pack and have a couple of five star reviews. The GMB Insight shows around 450 views per month, but the calls are around five to eight per month. Is there a reason why it might be getting so few phone calls? Could you explain some common mistakes that lead to that? Thank you. Yeah, Alex, um, it could be many things. Like, first of all, what is your message? Is, is Do you have a compelling call to action, right? So what are your calls to action? Um, what are the images? Where are you sending people, by the way? Like, for example, if, if, there, if your call to action is to click the button in the post and go to a landing page or wherever you're sending them, where, where are you sending them? If you're sending them to just the homepage of a website that's not set up for lead capture or conversions, then it could be that you're losing them there. Um, it could be that, you know, if you're just using the call buttons, then you could be losing traffic from desktop searches because people aren't clicking the call button from desktop search and they're not going to, and, and some people won't go actually click through to the website or go do another search for it. I mean, there's a number of things that could be it. I would say that typically if you're getting a lot of exposure, but you're not getting a lot of calls or leads, then I would look at your calls to action, what your offer is and where you're directing the traffic to if it's a click through as opposed to just a call uh, call conversion goal, right? So again, if it because and, and also in your posts, if you're doing posts regularly, which you should be, you know, use some images that are relevant to the industry. Because I know a lot of people that use stock images in their GMB post, guys, and those are, you know, people are almost blind to that, right? They 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 almost are numb to a lot of stock images. So try to get original images from the client if possible. Um, also just relevant images. I talk about how to do that from YouTube and you can also local images, which is more for SEO purposes. We talk about that at some of our training. Can't talk about that here, but that's what that, those are some of the things that I would recommend. Marco, what do you say? I say that, that that's just about right with 450 views, uh, about, you know, it's between two and 10 calls a month. You have to get, a, this is for talking about locally and, and from our experience with Mario, who had more phone calls and, and other locals that I've been doing. It's not until you get the thousands of views that you start seeing movement, you know, upwards of, of 20 calls. Because, the, the, I mean, the ultimate is, is calls or people going to your website or asking for directions. All of that are, are actions that could turn into leads depending on, on what they're, where they're going. It just means that you have to go and, and figure out, like, I, I'm not going to get too deep into our training, but you have to know when to deliver the message, right? There's ways to know which days, what time, what message. And right? how you, often. You, yeah, c correct. Because, I mean, it, it, in some niches, you might only need two or three uh, posts a week. In others, you might need two or three posts a day. And in others, you, you might need... E e just a whole lot more it's just constant right because there's people constantly looking for it so there's a whole lot of things involved just just a general overall opinion on what's happening i would say from 450 views you're just about right on on the calls yeah yeah that's increase the views per month and it's a numbers game you know if you're getting what looks like um you know one to two percent of whatever your views are, it looks like that's what's actually converting in the leads based upon that number that you're showing there, right? 450 views per month, five to eight calls, that's about one to 2%. So if that's the case, even if that were to hold true at that number, then if you increased your views, you know, if you doubled that to where you're getting 900 per month at that conversion rate, then you should essentially get 10 to 16 calls per month. Does that make sense? Well, how do you get more views, more activity, you know, better images, more compelling images, those kind of things. Uh, video, start using video in your GMB post, guys. They, if, if you haven't done that yet, figure, go, go test it because you'll see that a video post, just, just like it does on Facebook, will get a hell of a lot more exposure. Therefore, it will get a hell of a lot more views, okay? So I would, I would also say to look at the posts and see which, which of the posts are getting the most action and then try to figure out why. Yep. explore why those those are getting the action and the other ones aren't and tailor your post to the ones that are getting the most action 
and test different calls to action and different messages. Like again, it's just like split testing ads, guys. If you've ever done any pay-per-click uh, search marketing, you got to split test copy, you split test your landing pages, all that kind of stuff. Again, it's you can fine tune for conversions, um, which is called conversion optimization, right? So that's something that you may also want to look into.